Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. Finally, I've recorded Tony's replay that he sent me ages ago. This is from 115. In fact, I think most of the recent replays that were put out there, apart from maybe the Claymore stuff, have been from Patch 115. We are a long way behind, and I thank everybody for sending me replays because I love watching them, love recording them, and I love, love having a good time with them. This is a Tier 5 battle in the Mighty Mighty Matilda. Sorry, a Tier 4 battle in the Mighty Mighty Matilda. And that one that comes down to the wire, and it's a bit of an nail biter. So, if you know Tony, say good day in games. He loves it, and uh, you might see him in a lot of people's Twitch streams as well because he's a really nice guy. Let's light it up on Lakeville as Tony takes the Tier Four British tank out for a run and has a great time doing it. We mentioned it's a tier four. It's a tier four British medium tank, but it can play sort of like a heavy. It's got plenty of armor. You've just seen him block a few shots from the M5 Stewart and the PZB2. PZB2, one of the stat patterns, um, tanks of choice. It's always tier four, but it's not about the PZB2. This is about the Matilda. This is a tech tree tank. You don't need to pay money for this bad boy. You might remember me playing a couple of Matildas a couple of years ago when I started putting marks of excellence on tanks and uh, I had a great time doing it. There was two Matildas that I used. This is neither of them. The Matildas I was playing with premium tanks. This is a tech tree tank. You can get it for free. Put your wallet away. You wouldn't believe it. And um, Tony's top tier in this lineup. Playing on the Aussie server. I know it's the Aussie server because I can see bots on both teams. Bots are indicated by the colons, either end of their name, as well as a little tank icon on the uh, left and right hand side of the screen. Tell me about the gun, Stewie. Okay, it is a 40 millimeter gun. Fast firing, low alpha damage gun. 55 alpha damage, 121 penetration with standard ammunition, 145 with premium, which is APCR. Standards AP, premium's APCR. You can see Tony's got tea and pudding running there as a premium consumable. That's gonna help his aim time, his reload time, his vision. All that kind of jazz, all those crew skills, and uh, he's on the middle road of Lakefield, which isn't a bad place to be. Looking at the minimap, not many others are there apart from the T46. T46, not a real player. If you can, you know, capture this part of the map, I guess is the right word, uh, you can you can farm damage all day long. And that's what Tony's doing. He's seen the LTVZ38, tier three, um, college team, I think. Maybe check. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, he knows even though it's a bot, doesn't matter. He still spots him for the for the, for the enemy team. And there's the PZB2 we we're talking about just a minute ago, coming up to uh, to play ball. Now the Matilda with the ABCR rounds not having any problems. Better trading the PZB2 frontally. It's a German heavy tank at T4, and it's got super preferential matchmaking. You might call it preferential matchmaking. Normally means the worst matchmaking you're gonna see is plus one. Or with the PZB2, same as a Valentine 2, you're always top tier. Unless you're platooning with the wrong people. Now Tony's team's in a little bit of little bit of trouble. They're down by two tanks. Three five the score. And uh, importantly, two of the people who are dead on uh, Tony's team are, are real players. Three of them are bots. Now, they don't really count, but um, they still count to the scoreboard, right? You know what I mean? Sees the PZ1C. Puts a couple of shots into the PZ1C, gets back behind the base the pz1c is not a real player that's a bot as well but uh, Tony's carving it up there's roger in the cruiser which is a, another one who uh, is not a real player got the colon on either end of his in-game name as well as a tank icon on the left and right hand side of the screen but again looking at the mini map his team is in a bit of trouble he's lost three bots as well as three real players on his team dj and the enemy has only really lost one real player which is if 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 i'm going to be playing at uh, at tier four that's the the, the thing i'm going to be paying more attention to is going to be the um, how many real players are left on on the enemy team rather than the, the actual scoreboard now the t6 medium on the enemy team has just gone straight through the cap he's on five kills i'm not sure if the t6 medium player is a tier four specialist or not but uh he's just basically owned the valley of death down the one two line come all the way back and um, and uh, killed whatever was down there at the cap. Now, the T6 medium has lost a lot of hit points, and Tony's recognising this, just carving him up, putting those APCR rounds through the front of the tier four. Even though it's called T6, it confuses me as well, folks. Don't worry. Ignoring ignoring the PZB2 for the moment, knowing that the PZB2's gun isn't fantastic. It's more 
that's more fantastic because of his armor. But he's going to be mindful of his ammunition here. He's only got six premium rounds left. And uh, make that five. He, he needs to use them to get rid of this PZB2. We've gotten rid of the T6 medium tank. Uh, which is which was which was carrying the game for the enemy team on five kills, but uh, the PZB2, even though they only got one kill, it's a kind of tank that can um, that, that, that that can carry this no problem. Now he's only got two. It's only got two. One premium round remaining pushes him down. Is he going to go in the drink? He is. He's into the drink. He's looking, he's looking for M60 codes at the bottle of the lake on Lakeville, and. Uh, DJ not getting greedy, not going for the damage on the PZB2, realizing that the PZB2 is out of the game, puts another couple of shots in towards the uh, the city, but in 30 seconds someone's going to be capping this out. So he, he probably, <laughs> probably should have. Oh, he's not that far from the cap. That's all right. There's been a reset. The Type 91, which is one of the bots on the enemy team, has jumped on the cap, but uh, he might have been reset. I think he might have left the cap. And it looks like he's losing hit points as well. 6-9 the score, only down by three tanks, but Tony's the last real player left on uh, on his team. The enemy team has, has only got uh, two real players, the M5 Stewart and the PZ3J. He's already got rid of the PZB2 and helped get rid of the T6 medium. And uh, they're down by four tanks. 6-10 the score. It's three versus seven. Yeah, seven. I had to count there. That's okay. You're allowed to count, Stewie. Six, ten, the score. Three versus seven. It's going to be a. It's going to be a bit of a carry if TJ can uh, get away with this. I hope he does. He's a nice bloke and he deserves it. And he probably look. He sent me the replay for a reason. That's. A, I don't want to give too much away. There's a Type 91. Type 91. Like I mentioned earlier, not a real player. He's just going to sit there and cop it by the looks of it. In fact, I, I'm unsure if the Type 91 would be able to penetrate the uh, Matilda frontally. He has a quick look to his right, turns back to his left, does get does get damaged, blocks another shot, blocked 928 hit points so far, 1,736 hit points of damage done, which when you think about it, that's not too bad. 1,736 hit points of damage, when you bear in mind the gun only does 55, uh, 55 hit points. Is it 55 hit points? So that's about 30, 30 to, 30 to 35 uh, rounds. Now, wait, Tony's the only player alive, and now it's a one versus six. It's a one versus six. One versus five is a Call of Banoffs, folks. Now it's one versus five. One versus five or more is a Call of Banoffs. He's gotten rid of one player. Here comes another one coming for the, now the enemy team are thinking, you beauty, it's five versus one. We've got this, no problems whatsoever. Tony gets a kill on the Panzer 1C, and now it's the uh, the T70. Again, another one that's not a real player. The T70 taking him down. He's only on 55 hit points now, our friend TJ. 55 hit points. Might be 54 more than he needs, but uh, he's probably thinking, oh, well, we might as well go down swinging. He's got 79 bullets left. Maybe he doesn't run out of bullets. This could be, this could be, no, nah, 77 bullets is heaps. Looks at the LT and says no problems. Now it's down to three. Remember it was one versus six, now it's one versus three. The one thing that I'd be concerned about, and I'm sure Tony's concerned, in fact he told me, is that two of the players, two of the players left on the enemy team, the M5 Stewart, who's currently spotted, the PZ3J, are both real players. So they, they both might have a brain. They both might know what they do. Might, quote unquote. TJ, on the other hand, is on 55 health. 2,446 hit points of damage done so far. 1,493 damage blocked by armor. He's peeking around here thinking, the PZ3J has not been seen for a long, long time. There is, there's the PZ3J. There's the cruiser first, though. He's pumping it into the cruiser. The cruise, cruiser's got that pom-pom gun by the looks at it, but uh, not a real player, so not, not making a, a huge impact but the pz3j is coming after him auto aim shoots and kills and now it's a one versus two the m5 stewart where'd the m5 stewart go i'm not sure where the m5 stewart went the cruiser was last spotted just in front of him still got 55 hit points tj from 7 8 cap 7 8 cap great friends of me and 1 ar they do a they do a count in night and platoon night on a thursday in there um, in, uh, in there what's it called discord server and uh, me old mate ziggy's over there tj pixie uh, Devils, Shell Sponge. They might not all be in the clan, but they're still part of the community. Seven Acre community is a great community. Great bunch of people. Uh, Rack the Geno, or Ragnarok, 
whatever he's changed his name to. That's all right. Still a nice guy. And I love counting in, having a good time, platooning up and um, telling really great jokes. That's, maybe that's my fault. I don't know. Anyway, I joined in there on a Thursday night wherever I can. Be a great bunch of people. They also stream it. Ziggy streams it sometimes. Ragnarok, Devil. It's out of control. Fantastic. Anyway, now it's a one versus one situation. Tony, 500 from 7 ACAP. TJ to his mates. 7, 2,748 hit points of damage done so far. Eight kills. So he's already got the Radley Walters. I forgot to mention he picked up the Top Gun and the Radley. Where's the M5 Stewart? That's the million dollar question. Where's the M5 Stewart? Four minutes left on the clock. The M5 Stewart's at half hit points going by the health bar on the um, top right hand side of your screen. The M5 Stewart last spotted just around there, just around that corner. It has been a little while. Tony going backwards and forwards. We're quickening up this part of the replay because we know it takes a, lot, a while sometimes. 12-12 the score. Three minutes left on the clock. Three, it, only take, it would only take for either of these tanks, for the M5 Stewart or for TJ, it would only take... It would take less than three minutes to kill. But there's the M5 Stewart. He's, going, he's hitting W as fast as he can, knowing that the Matilda, not known for its speed, more known for its armor. And he's angled quite well here as he comes around this corner. Blocks a shot from the M5 Stewart. The M5 Stewart looks like it's got like a fast... Yeah, oh, he hits the dead. Is that That's the type that he hit earlier. It's, of course, in the heat of the moment. He could be forgiven for doing that. Now, the M5 Stewart, tell me in the tell me in the comments, what kind of gun is that? Is that a fast firing? Is it an auto loader? Is it, a, is it a, uh, just a, uh, a fast firing auto loader? TJ not stuffing around here as the two minute siren goes off, going straight over the top, looking at the, oh look, he's gotten behind him. He's probably, oh, I only got one shot into the uh, M5 Stewart then, but look, in situations like this, you're going for a Cola Battles medal. He's on eight kills, hoping for a ninth. Uh, he'll, be, he'll be looking back on this replay saying, oh, what what, what did I miss out on? What did I miss out on where I could have got 10? But look, it's no use getting greedy, and, and TJ's not a greedy person. He's a, he's a lovely bloke. Met him a couple of times, and he's lovely wife. Absolute lovely people. Here, he's got to get this, surely. He's got, this isn't, don't tell me this is going to be a heartbreaker, Stuart. He's got to get this. He's going over the top, which is a bit risky. Going straight for the... It gives him a bit of a tap there. And he's given the M5 Stewart his back. This could be this could be bad for TJ. Shoots him once. One more is all it's going to cost. Blocks the return shot from the M5 Stewart. This is... This is oh, <laughs> he's got him now. There's one. This will be another one. Nine kills. Tony 500. Seven ACAV. Not only nine kills in a Radley, but also... That was also a Collar Banos medal. I haven't got a Collar Banos medal, so I'm a little bit jealous. And we saw one not too long ago with my old mate Dark Knight, who's another champion of the game. Ace Taker Mastery Badge for Tony 500. TJ to his mates in the Matilda, the Tier 4 British medium tank that plays a little bit like a heavy. Bruiser, Hand of God, Duelist, Fire for Effect, Shell Proof, Collar Banos medal for winning a 1v5. Well, it was 1v6 or 7. I think it was 6. Maybe it's, I can't remember. Cool-headed for surviving all those shots. You've survived plenty of shots, all right. Spartan for the similar stuff. Naden's middle for killing all the light tanks uh, on the enemy team. High caliber. Steel wall, of course. He got the steel wall and the top gun. Look at all those tanks that he had a hand in getting rid of. 3,196 hit points of damage in the end. Nine kills. 1409 base experience. Holy moly. He fired 87 shots. 71 hit and 62 went through. Nothing wrong with that accuracy. Uh, he sniped. He received 69 hits. Dinner for two. Only 11 pens. That, that, that sort of tells you how good the armor of the Matilda kept. Bearing in mind, some of the people that were shooting TJ would have been bots and not known where to aim and all that kind of But you've got to take the good with the bad, right? And uh, 58 bounced. That's why he got all that block damage. He blocked nearly 2,000 hit points of damage. Not bad for tier four. Do you make credits? Hell no. Cost him 17,000 credits. That's after tax with a premium account. Uh, in that uh, game that almost went almost went for more than 40 minutes. It was an absolute ripper. Ace indeed. Not just an ace, but a Collar Banoffs. And uh, no Redley Walterses in uh, Tier 4 by the looks of it. But he got the Top Gun, which is still worth putting that one up on the mantelpiece. TJ, you're a legend, my old mate. Thank you very much for the replay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Collar Banoffs, don't you love them? Take care and see you all next time.